Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm going to show you how to mirror your Android device to your Raspberry Pi 4 using an application called Screen Copy. And this will work with basically any Raspberry Pi operating system that's based on Debian, but for this video I'm going to be using Raspberry Pi OS. Now to get this installed really easily in Raspberry Pi OS, we're going to be using PyKiss, but before we move into the installation process, I just wanted to give you a little demo here. I have a Pixel 4 XL, and as you can see, I mean, it is dead on with the speed here. I personally don't feel any latency here, even when I'm gaming. So it does work well with screen mirroring, but there is one major downside to screen copy for pretty much all of the operating systems it's available for, and that's no sound. It will not pick up sound from your Android device, but the speaker on your Android device will still function properly. There are third-party applications that you can use with Linux and Windows to pick the sound up or record it, but for the Raspberry Pi, I personally haven't messed around with it. Now screen copy is obviously going to allow you to mirror your Android device to your Raspberry Pi 4 screen, and it also allows you to take control of the screen using your mouse on the Raspberry Pi 4, so you can navigate the full operating system from your keyboard and mouse when it's mirrored to your big screen through the Raspberry Pi 4. For this video, I'm going to be using the Pixel 4 XL, and I've personally only tested Android devices with USB Type-C, so I'm not sure if it'll work over micro USB. But if you're ready to get this installed, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in order to easily install screen copy, we're going to be installing an application to our Raspberry Pi known as PyKiss. I've done a video on this. A link will be in the description, and he has a full changelog here. He's added a lot of stuff since the last time I made a video, and more will be coming. Super easy to install. Installation right here on the web page. You can just copy and paste this. I'm going to press Control-Alt-T to open up Terminal. I'm going to paste this right in. And it's going to fetch everything we need. It's a curl command. And that's it. We now have PyKiss installed. If you'd like to update, really easy to do, and I recommend doing it at least once a week. We can do git pull from the folder. So if we open up a file explorer, we're going to go to Py, PyKiss, and inside of this folder, we're going to go to Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, just so we don't have to CD into it and just type in git pull. It's going to search for an update, but I'm already up to date because I just installed it. We can close down terminal. Now it's time to launch PyKiss. From the drop down menu, we're going to see a new section called System Tools. PyKiss. So now that we have PyKiss up and running, we're going to scroll down to Others. And the very first one as making this video is Screen Copy, S-E-R-C-P-Y. It's known as Screen Copy. Display and control your Android device when it's connected over USB. This is what we want to install, so we'll press Enter. Enter to continue. It's going to download everything we need and get Screen Copy up and running. When it's finished, we'll just press Enter to go back to the menu. And if that's all you want to install in PyKiss, we can close this down. And we can open up Screen Copy from the Raspberry Pi logo, System Tools, Screen Copy. And right now I don't have an Android device connected to my Raspberry Pi, but like you saw at the beginning, I'm going to be using a Pixel 4 XL. You will need to enable USB debugging, and you can do this from developer settings. It's a little different for each phone, so I recommend doing a little research on how to turn on developer settings for your specific device. But once you have developer settings enabled, you're going to go right in there, and you're going to find an option called USB Debugging. You want to make sure this is on. It might prompt you to say OK. Just click OK. We're now ready to connect this to our Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my phone. On my phone screen, it's actually going to prompt me, Allow USB Debugging. I'm going to choose Allow. And since I took a little while, I do need to re-enable Screen Copy. So I'm going to go back to System Tools, Screen Copy, and it should pop right up, like you see here. So we're now mirroring our Android device to our Raspberry Pi 4. And this actually comes in really handy for messages and things like that, but you can also play games on it. Like I said, sound isn't working over screen copy and that's really unfortunate, but the speaker on your phone will be working. So if you wanna turn the volume up there, you can still hear what's going on. I'm gonna go with Asphalt 9. I'm gonna go full screen with it. And this is just being mirrored from my Android device to my screen here.
and that's pretty much it. We can go back to kind of a window mode here. And I usually just leave mine going over here. I can check my news, I can play games, I can check my email directly from here because I can use my mouse to navigate my Android device. So if I want to start another game up, like Minecraft, I can actually use my mouse to play it right here. Or if you have a controller connected, you can play it with a controller and you'll have a big screen. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching and hope you get screen copy up and running on your Raspberry Pi. It's an awesome application and it really does come in handy. I want to give a big thank you to the developer of PyKiss because I actually requested this and I also want to give a big shout out to Salvador over at Pi Labs for all of his great work on the Raspberry Pi and other single board computers. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.